What's up everybody, NC Prepper here. And this has been a video long time coming. This is my large get home bag. Now this bag is based off of the SOG Barrage. Uh, it's not quite exactly like the Barrage, uh, as, as I think that it actually has maybe one or two more handles than this one has. Um, now this is actually a uh, Condor water holder that I do keep with it. Sometimes I'll strap it on, sometimes I won't. I'll go into that a little bit later. But So we've got the you got your logo there and it's got the SOG uh, these pull ties on here they're real nice they these are a little bit better than the ones I've seen before where they the, the ends won't come off but if you want and they're silent they don't make any noise the nice thing about this backpack also is that it does have some strap management it's got the little uh, elastic straps on there to keep things tied down this bag is supposed to have one main compartment and six smaller pockets and I'll get into those in a minute um, this one of the pockets is the one that's on top this is pretty ordinary these days it's got the felt lining in there so you could put sunglasses or you could put things that you want to, to be uh, protected a little bit and not scratched up so you could put your sunglasses in there uh, it does have a uh, water bladder uh, in the back and now let's see this uh, this is this also has an internal frame in it so that's why I say it's based similarly on the barrage it's an internal frame backpack uh, now it does have um, well this is stiff and I think that's kind of what they mean by some of the internal framing um, and you've just I've got a three liter camel back uh, water bladder in there. I just don't have it filled right now. All right, let's get into this and let's see what we've got. So I uh, showed you that top pocket, and now just I don't have anything in there currently right now. Um, in the front pocket. I keep a uh, a small sewing kit in a lock sack bag, mainly just to keep the threads and things pretty clean in there. Um, I've got a little bit of hard candies. Um, I have a, a Silva whistle, uh, compass, and a thermometer. It's got a little magnifying glass on there. Just some uh, energy drink to put into some water. It does have a pocket right here across the uh, the, back, the flap. So in this, I've got the this is the Phoenix E11 uh, flashlight on a, on a little lanyard. So I have a set of Ranger beads that I can use to count paces and some uh, extra batteries for the flashlight. Okay, so let's get into the front. I keep a, uh, or sometimes I keep a Streamlight MicroStream flashlight here on the front. Uh, sometimes I use this with my, with my EDC, so I, it's not always here, but it's just a neat place to put it. There are quite a few pockets in this front pouch. You've got some that almost go the entire length of the front of this bag. Uh, and then you've got some zipper pockets here. Um, in this one, I've got uh, some UCO survival matches, a cigarette lighter, I've got the Kershaw Blur, awesome knife, a little large on the heavy, but it's a, it's a good, solid knife, oh, and, a, and a, so I have two lighters uh, just for backup, or barter if I needed to. And that's all that's in this top zippered pocket. Across the front here, I've got a couple of these fold flat uh, N95 filter masks. I've got two of those. 
And that's all that's in that pocket. This pocket, I've just got a little uh, uh, Coglin's mirror, a uh, non-destructible mirror, just in case I need to check something on my face or whatnot, um, do hygiene. Um, I can. Ha it's, it's very lightweight uh, and un uh, indestructible, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, it's hard to see these, but there's a couple pockets here, and they have flaps that are that will hold the contents in. So I do have a larger Silva compass. That's it for that pocket. Uh, this is a, um, and I'll post a link to this. This is a real nice little kit, although it is one that I made. But this is basically a replica of USNER Docs uh, EDC uh, first aid slash morale um, first aid kit, where there is a bunch of bandages. Um, there is some caffeine gum in here, so if you have got to hike a long way and you want to keep going and, and overcome some tiredness, you can chew this uh, caffeine gum. There are some antihistamines, uh, just different medicines that I need. Um, as I said, this is something that I've made, so it gave me the, the liberty of putting in my own medicines instead of having to worry about off-the-shelf stuff. And I got a little Sharpie. So I have a set of a uh, knife, a fork, and a spoon. This is from Sea to Summit, a real lightweight. It's not the titanium set, but it's still really light. Nice to have that set with me. Uh, TP with some um, dryer lint pushed into the middle core of that in, in its own little bag so I could start a fire. I have a package of wet wipes. And then I have uh, two packs of the Daytrex emergency drinking water, so I could open these immediately and have at least a small drink of water. And then in this pocket here, I have the Repel uh, bug spray. This is more of a lotion, though, so I don't have to worry about it. the spray not working. These were smaller, so I put two in there. There's some uh, sunblock. You don't want to get sunburn on the way home. Now this is a smaller bottle of Dr. Bronner's uh, soap, which is biodegradable. Um, th don't worry about the color because it's been out in my car. This bag's been out in my car, so it's just cold. It doesn't affect the usage of the soap. But you can even brush your teeth with this. So you can wash, you can wash your body, wash your hair, brush your teeth. Uh, I don't know how much this is, but I usually try and keep it full. I love this stuff. It's peppermint smell. Uh, really nice it does a great job so I don't have to carry any other types of soap that that covers everything so that's it for the front I'm gonna put all this back and then I'll come right back okay so I reset the camera on this because this backpack actually has the ability to open flat completely flat out so it has uh, four sets of buckles two on each side and then Here's the zippers, and these zippers remind me kind of like a, on the, um, I've got an MMS sleep system, and the zipper is actually a lot different on this one. It's a, it's a higher, I don't know if it's higher quality, but it's a thicker style, and it's one of those that you can actually just grab and pull, so you can pull the whole thing open, uh, without having to unzip it. Unlike these other zippers, they won't do that. You have to manually zip it the whole way. So I'll start over here on the left side. So in this top zipper pocket, and this is what I love about this bag, is that there's actually compartments in this whole top lid. These are zippered compartments. And then this is an open spot here, and there is a zipper compartment inside. But in this, all there is, inside of a lock sack bag, I've got a, just a Red Cross radio. It has light, um, hand crank, AM-FM shortwave, 
no, I'm sorry, this one's just AM, FM, and weather band. That's what I meant to say. So I can see what weather forecast is when I'm trying to get home if it's a, a bad weather event. In this pocket, I have the uh, Adventure Medical Kits uh, 1 to 4 People First Aid Kit 2.0. Uh, uh, this is just an awesome kit. I have seen some other people on YouTube that have used this same one mainly just because of everything that you get with this kit and then I believe I've added a couple of things just uh, just to make it a little more uh, personalized like I've got a, um, a a razor blade and a little saw here I've got a that's a one quart bag that I can use with the uh, I've got some water disinfectant tablets in here so if I needed to disinfect some water I could and this is a one quart so the the, the tablets match perfectly I added this little um, uh, hand towel so you just get it wet and it expands and pretty much the rest of the, I think I threw some chapstick in pretty much everything else is what's listed on the back of this so you can go to their website and see what all comes in this kit but I've just personalized it a little bit So in this bottom pouch, I've got a uh, right in the rain, uh, all weather notepad. If I need to take some notes or leave a note. Uh, light my light me tenders. This is just uh, some extra fire tender. I'm not sure why I got it in that pocket, but it, I could have it in different places in the backpack. So if something happens to the front pocket, I still got some fire is very important this is an SOL two-person uh, survival blanket uh, I got some in a lock sack bag I've just got some uh, maps in my for my local area and some there may be some other states I'll go to the uh, travel center or the welcome center when I go into South Carolina Virginia places like that and I'll get these maps they're free and a drum liner. This is just a 55 gallon, three mil drum liner. All right, so let me, so moving over to this side. This is just a very, this is a GSI, very lightweight cutting board. Um, some people may not like these, but um, if you've ever read a, a American's books uh, when Morgan's coming home, um, it, this came in handy if you've got any kind of food that you want to prep. Uh, that if you're out more than a day or so travel, you just keep your food off the ground and it's just a place that you can cut some food. Um, the blue things here, these are, uh, I've got two tarps. They're the ones that have the re reflective material on the inside. I believe these are five by seven. They're pretty lightweight. You know, I, have to, I could build an emergency shelter with this uh, real nice. And then it will also reflect the heat back. Or I could even wrap up in this and it would keep me warm. I got a couple bags of food just something to eat on the way back I've got some salmon some spam some coffee some crackers some sugar and stuff for the coffee I'll set these aside and I'll go into those in just a minute uh, this is the Berkey sport water bottle uh, that's good for a couple hundred gallons of water this you can just scoop up water the filter is built right in. Uh, it'll clean out any. It, it'll clean out pesticides, uh, VOCs, uh, any of the standard baddies, uh, Giardia, Cryptosporidium. Just scoop up any water from a water source, and it it has a carbon filter in it, so it will it will adjust for taste uh, and just clean out anything. So on the go, I can just scoop up water and and just keep going. Uh, this uh, is the Baofeng ham radio. I am a ham radio operator, so I do have a license to transmit on this. Um, and I have the regular battery pack, 
and then I have a battery pack that has some AAA batteries in that as well. So I can, uh, if the, if the uh, rechargeable pack goes dead, I can switch over to the alkalines and uh, keep transmitting. Everybody will recognize this. This is basically just 100 feet of uh, military grade uh, 550 cord, 7 strand. So just 100 feet of paracord. Uh, so like I said, in this back pocket, let me move around. In this back pocket is kind of like my utility pocket. Um, it's real, it's kind of just out of the way. I don't really need this stuff all the time. This is some duct tape, just on a plastic credit card, old credit card. I also have a, a Leatherman. This is this is the sheath that it does come with. This is the uh, Sidekick, and the reason I like this one is uh, this one has a built-in saw. So if I needed to cut down some uh, branches or something to make a little fire, I could. There are some other ones that have um, scissors here, but on my EDC knife, I've got a pair of scissors, so I just felt like the saw would be a little bit more useful. Okay. Uh, and it's just got the regular pliers and everything like most people have seen. But this is a neat little uh, leather pouch that it comes in, so I just store it in that. Uh, just got a pair of uh, work gloves. Um, it does have the little thing there, so if I needed to manipulate my smartphone, I didn't take my gloves off. But it's just a pair of work gloves. Okay. This is just a thing of wire I found. I'd seen an article somewhere that uh, sometimes wire um, it does a little bit better job of keeping things together than string because it's rigid. So this is just floral wire. I buy this at Walmart for like $1.50 and I have seen where uh, it has a really high tensile strength. So you could really pull on this and do some repairs if I needed to to my equipment. So it's lightweight, so real cheap, and it's worthwhile to have in there. So it gives me, there's 270 feet of this wire. I could, I don't know that I'd ever make snares or anything with it because I'm trying to get home, but uh, it's just a nice little thin strand of wire instead of string to try to hold something together. So I'll put it in there. Uh, just a regular headlamp. This is just a Rayovac. Runs on uh, AAA batteries also. And uh, another drum liner, just, as a, just to have a second one. In this pocket, this being based, uh, there are some side pockets I'll get here in just a second, but in this pocket here is the last main pocket. And I guess you could put shoes, you could put whatever you wanted to in here, but I actually have some more supplies. So I have a pair of, uh, just a pair of hiking socks. This is just a uh, waterproof dry bag. So they, the socks themselves won't get wet. I haven't tried these, so I think I'm going to make a video on these. Uh, one of my pouches, and it looks like this may have also, one of, yeah, the, the, um, the vacuum seal has come broken on this, so I think I'm going to make do a, a taste test and see what these taste like. Uh, I bought a whole box of these things, but they are uh, supposed to be apple cinnamon, and they're 2,400 calories, so this is supposed to be three days worth of food, and you just break these up into little squares, so... I'll do another video um, and we'll do a taste test and see what, what these things taste like. But for now, it is the uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies Emergency Food Bars. Uh, this, someone had actually mentioned this in um, on my smaller Ultimate, um, the small get home bag, the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho. Uh, this one's kind of nice because it is uh, much higher quality than a standard poncho would be. It's cut longer in the back, so if I have my backpack on, it the the poncho doesn't ride up on the backs of your legs to get your back of the legs all wet. So it is cut longer in the back, but um, I'm, I will probably do another video on this uh, pretty soon. But this is the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho, and then I also have the 
uh, a, a SOL escape bivy. So this is their larger version, um, this breathable material. It has the reflective um, inside. It's just a, basically a little sleeping bag. So if I needed to, I could just um, just get into this and sleep for a couple of hours or whatever as I'm trying to get home or in my car. If I'm broke down, um, I could get inside this and not uh, freeze. Very lightweight, uh, so great piece of kit there. This is a uh, Jolly Tank. It just it, this is a two gallon, uh, but it, uh, water or fuel bag. So you can actually carry fuel in this. So if I needed to, I could go get a couple gallons of gas. Now it's gonna it, it, it will be done. I won't be able to use the bag anymore once you've put gas into this. But you can reuse it over and over for water. But it is a way to uh go get gas if my car if i did run out of gas so i uh, carry one of these as well super lightweight also so all of this just kind of goes back in here in this one pocket but I, as i said the main reason i have just loved this bag is the uh how everything just fits in here um as if it were made for this bag So then in these pouches, um, put these, back. these are some Eagle Creek bags. They're just these uh, stackable cubes. And in this one, I carry, let me see if I can't zoom in and set this down so I can open it up a little bit. Okay. So I like this one because it does, these do give me the organization that I'm looking for. So this is just a regular hat, boonie type hat if I needed to. I like this one because it was made for people who go fishing, so it's a waterproof hat. Um, just for a little drizzle or downpour and not, not enough to pull the, uh, the uh, poncho out. This is a bug net for your face just to keep all the little pests out of your mouth and face. Just a pair of safety sunglasses. I actually got these at Harbor Freight, so they're safety lenses. They're not just the, they're not the best looking, but um, it would keep the sun out of my eyes and protect, you know. And then a, this is a, just another bag with uh, a separate um, comfort bag. You know, it's got hand sanitizer, some uh, toothbrush, some toothpaste, uh, floss, some soap, wet wipes. Just another bag of uh, stuff to make it more pleasant trying to get home. Uh, a little microfiber towel that I can pull out of here and dry off. And a shemog. So I can put that around if it's a little chilly or put it over. Do whatever you need to. I've made, I actually, I'm going to make a, follow, a video pretty soon of as to why I haven't been on YouTube for a while. And this actually came in very handy when I um, I was injured, uh, pretty severely injured, and I'll go into that a little later. But um, I was able to use a shemog uh, to help with my injury that I had. So this is, just, like I said, this is more my comfort cube that just has uh, the um, the hat, the hat, and things like that. Just now, this one. Along those same lines, oh, an extra bug net. I didn't realize that was in there, but uh, two of those. This is these are from uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies. I bought these at Walmart. They're like a dollar fifty. So having a spare, I guess, is nice because this is that material could rip, and one uh, two is one, one's none. So they're so lightweight. What what harm in carrying a second one? Some more chopstick. But these are two separate bags, so I could uh, take one or take the other. Uh, mainly, this is more a winter bag. Since I have that other set, I'm going to take these out. I forgot they were in there. But uh, these are a set of rag wool gloves um, with the fingers out, so I can still manipulate things. But if it's cold, like wintertime, i got a set of gloves. Everybody recognizes these uh, hot hands. i got three of those. And I have a um, Carhartt watch cap. Uh, most people have seen those as well. So this is more a bag that I can take in it uh, for the season. I can take this out um, if it's winter time and make the bag a little lighter. But for now, I'm filming this in uh, 
February, it's cold. So I just have an extra bag. And that's why I like the modules. I can take it out when it's summertime and I don't need that specific bag. So, But that's all that fits in this main compartment here. But it just, when you look at the organization, let me back this up. I just love this bag. I think I may have mentioned, but if not, I'll mention it again. This bag is built off of, uh, basically designed to be a replica of the uh, Rush 72 made by 511. But it's about $160, and this bag was like $50. So um, I could buy almost three of these backpacks for the price of that one to make uh, kits like this for my whole family if I wanted to. So it makes a big difference. Uh, and it's just something I leave in my car. I'm not using it on a daily basis. But let me see if I can get these pockets here lined up. On the side, it has two long pockets that go down the side. And this one, I just have a couple of Kim sticks. Just light sticks I can have on the outside of the bag. These are uh, industrial type. They're green. They run for 12 hours. And yeah, that's all that's on this side. But there's actually uh, two pockets inside this one main pocket. And then there's another pocket on this side. And then this one side, I have a uh, pretty awesome knife. Everybody that sees it loves it. Uh, this is the Mora Light My Fire. So it's a stainless steel blade. So I don't have to worry about maintenance or because most of the more blades are, are carbon steel and they'll rust that's stainless steel but the beauty of having that blade the way it is with a real true 90 degree bevel on the side no um, no coating on it um, you actually have in the end of this a fire steel so you can throw some monster sparks off of that and uh, it's all built into the knife reflective cord back here on the back awesome awesome knife absolutely love this you know it has the traditional more a hard plastic case with a drainage hole in the bottom uh, you've got a belt clip real st tough sturdy belt clip so you could uh, if you're hiking in the backwoods to try and get home I could put this on my belt and leave it there for my tarps, I have a couple of uh, Coglins, uh, just aluminum uh, tent stakes, so I can stake this out. Real lightweight stakes, but strong. And uh, uh, this is a set of um, uh, small. Uh, I, these are bolt cutters, but I would, if I, you know, and I'm not advocating that someone destroy people's property, but depending upon the event and depending upon how badly I needed to get home, I could cut a hole in a fence with this or cut some wire that's just happened to be from construction or something that uh, I may have gotten tangled up into or I need to get out of the way or I need to use some of it to, in part of my shelter or whatever. They don't weigh that much. Um, real strong, lightweight. You know, I wouldn't cut anything, be able to cut anything heavy with it, but it is, there's nothing that can duplicate this. Um, even my multi-tool, I can't cut things that I can cut with these. So it just fits in this side pocket. You know, they were like 10 bucks, uh, but it, I, I've never used them. But like I said, I can't duplicate it in any other way. So it'd be a nice thing to be able to get home and not let a fence stop me. So that is it for the interior of that bag. That's basically my whole large get home bag. Um, so this is just a piece that I could add because it does have the molly on the front. Uh, this has got uh, extra water filtration in it. I have the uh, I've got uh, the Sawyer water filter. I've got the bag, the back flush. Um, I have some water purification tablets. If I needed to start a fire to, uh, to boil some water, I could do that. I've got a small, the smaller version of the Light My Fire 
uh, fire steel. Got a little pocket knife to process a little bit of tender. Uh, it's a straight edge blade. Uh, it's made by CKRT. Uh, got some lighters in there. So all of that. Oh, there's a flashlight in case I uh, uh, get separated and, uh, and, and or I need to give this bag to like a family member or something. It actually has another flashlight in there to use. Um, and then the top or in the water section, I have a, uh, a full, uh, meaning there's it's full of water, the 40 ounce clean canteen. So, and I could boil in this. This is the single wall, it's not the double wall. So if I need to, that's why I have all the matches and fire starting is I could purify and boil water in this. So, uh, so that's it. That all basically makes up my kit. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. It's uh, been a video that I, that I consider to be a long time coming. Uh, this is the kit that I typically carry in the back of my car all the time. Uh, I do carry that smaller one uh, during the uh, summer months if I need the extra trunk space. But if I don't need the trunk space and I'm just driving back and forth to work or I take a road trip or something, that's it. This is what I carry with me all the time. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, please ask below. And as always, uh, please subscribe to get notifications for my next video.